something? Chloe? I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. This is the only way. How did she know? That she I, I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My step... Father deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. No! I can't scream because people are asleep. Okay. Oh God. God, this is such a hard thing to do. If 
I sacrifice Chloe, everyone else will be saved. If I sacrifice Arcadia Bay, Chloe will die. But it just makes everything, either or, everything that I've done, like, not worth at all. Like, if I sacrifice Chloe, everything I have done for her, like, it was pointless. But if I sacrifice Arcadia Bay, what the hell does that leave? Me saving Kate would have been pointless. Um, figuring everything out that's happened would have been pointless. Everyone would be dead, even though they don't deserve that. But Chloe... Oh my god. I'm sorry. I love you, Chloe. Max? It's time. Chloe? I'm so, so sorry. I... I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Night, we get justice. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. <sighs> we could have had it all. We could have had it all. Ugh. I'll always love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho!
Aww, I see Joyce up there. For that entire sequence, I did want to cry. I will be honest, I am an emotional person. So, okay. So, that last choice was extremely hard for me. For multiple reasons. I mean, I know what happens with the other one. And I'm going to play through it again. Not the entire game, but like, play, choose the other option. And I will explain why I don't like that option at all I mean like there's a lot of things in that ending that I don't like so for this one it's seeing Joyce and like it just I don't know like this one made more sense to me because like but also it fucks me up in the head because like it, Chloe had to die in that exact moment she had to die in that exact moment but uh, my thought like oh but like if, like after like the whole of the initial stop and then the rewind Everything from that point was just moot. It was like, it didn't, like, it just, it wasn't, why am I like this? I can't, words right now. It's just, what was the point? 
Like, what was the point of doing all that if in the end she was gonna die? Like, what was the whole entire point? Was it to make Max learn a few things? Was it, um, because, okay. So, like, throughout the entire time of that, of the game, they're trying to find out what happened to Rachel. When they're trying to find out what happened to Rachel, and it makes a lot of fucked up shit, and, um, a lot of fucked up shit happens and all that. But, like, only for it, like, to be, like, moot. Once you go back and choose to sacrifice Chloe. Because in that moment, ev- that's when everything gets found out. That when, that's when everything gets out of the bag. Like, they find Ra- they find out what happened. They find out, find Rachel, find my, um, Mark Jefferson. And... And all that, but but if you go with the other option, would there really have been justice? Because a lot of people die. A lot of people die and would have been Max's fault. So it's just... People want to see it as black and white. But it's just a huge-ass gray area. And it's just... Ugh. But they're like my reasons why I don't like the other ending. Yes, you get to keep Chloe, but... I don't know, it's just, just some things that didn't feel right. I'll, I'm gonna play through, I'm gonna do that, and... Uh, oh wow, I'm with the majority. So for sacrifice Chloe. Okay. David got a scar during a fight. David killed Jefferson? Oh. Huh. I didn't save the trucker. I didn't even know something happened to the trucker. Saved Evan. I saved Alyssa. I didn't save the- I don't know how I could save him. I didn't know I could save him. I didn't know how. You didn't change- Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, a lot of people didn't. You told the truth about Rachel and Frank. Rachel to Frank. You hugged Warren. He didn't show Warren any affection. A lot of people kissed Warren. I'm like, oh, friends are good. Friends are good. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna... to do this in a second slot. Max! Max, can you hear me? Please say something, Chloe. I... I must have passed out. Oh, Sorry. thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. Max. 
tracks. This is the only way. I, I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to where you took that picture. How did she know? All that would take... Oh wait, yeah, she explained it. No, never mind. She explained it. Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Mac, it's time. Not me. Max, I'll always be with you. There's a dead person there.
Okay. So why I don't like this choice. Well, obviously, like, they went drove through the town to all this destruction. They didn't stop to see if there was anyone alive. And they didn't stop to see, like, if anyone on the floor was alive. To see if there were any survivors. They didn't do that. I mean, probably just so they don't have to, like, see all the horrific stuff to keep them so to be... So, like, they won't be sad, but that's pretty selfish. If you ask me, like, that's kind of selfish. But I understand why people like this decision, because you have Chloe, you have her safe with you. But is that really the end of, like, is that the only big storm that's happened? Like, is that the only big storm that's going to happen? Is it going to happen again because Chloe didn't die? I mean, all of us die eventually, but Chloe didn't die at the time when she was supposed to die. Which is what was the catalyst of everything that's happened. Like, Chloe not dying because Max saved her it was the catalyst of this big storm that ended up killing more people. Is that good enough for it to stop, for it to not cause another storm? Killing all these people for one person, is that good enough to stop a storm? Or is it still going to go after Chloe? That's why, like, you nip it at the bud. And it's, it's such a hard thing to choose. It's such a hard thing to choose. Like... It's not really black and white. Oh, I know exactly what I want to do. No. It's got to think of everything. It's... I don't know. Just, I know. I don't know what I would do if I was in this situation. If I was Max in this situation. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know what to do. Especially if it was my best friend. Like I wouldn't want to lose them ever in this in my entire life. And I would wish I could do anything to save him. But at the cost of so many people. I, I wouldn't know. If I was in Chloe's. Though. I would sacrifice myself. I would beg my friend. But would I even want to put them through that? Oh god, so... And you know, it's a great thing that this is a game. Because I would never want to be put through that. Ever, in real life. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. I have enjoyed it again and I am ready to play before the storm but I will take a break from Life is Strange I'm gonna play some other games but I will jump back hopefully sometime in this next week that's coming thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video hit that little thumbs up button if you enjoyed the series subscribe if you'd like more there's definitely going to be more. And I will see you later, mis amigos. And stay rad. Stay perfectly 100% rad.